hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is mars your first time here um so today i'm just going to be talking about what to bring on the flight with you as in in your um carry-on luggage like important things i think you should put there like it's only limited i think it's about 7 kg so it's really pertinent to put only things that are vital and not like unnecessary stuff um some of you guys have messaged me that you guys are coming in like december and like january it just makes my heart so glad so that was what was actually the inspiration for this video so if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up um, and leave a comment on other things you want me to film and be sure to subscribe so if you see me looking here it's only because my laptop is here which I'm sure you can actually see on the screen um, so the first thing I would say would be like without a doubt like a hoodie like wearing a hoodie on the flight one of the reasons why I think this is like the most appropriate wear is because like um, just in airplanes can get cold so even if your ears get cold you could just like pull your hoodie um, over your head and that is a way of like protecting your head without having like the extra baggage of like wearing like a head warmer or something like that I think that's a good way um, and also like a hoodie that has like a certain level of thickness so it doesn't have to be like a cardigan but at least like thick enough and you can also carry like a jacket on the side like just in case and you can just wear sweatpants just because sweatpants are really comfortable as opposed to like jeans or something like that um then the next thing would be um earplugs and eye mask i think most airlines provide this but just to be sure you can always like confirm you can call the airline you can send an email and confirm if those would be provided for you um airplugs i just i hate um flying so much my ears literally feel like they're bleeding which it actually did once like when you take off and during the flight it's just very uncomfortable for me so i have to have um, my ears plugged like the entire time so if you have a problem flying as well this is something that will become like very important for you um, to have on you and you know if you're on a long flight you might need to um wear an eye mask to sleep for people that you know they um like to sleep where it's like pitch black the chances that maybe someone beside you has like their little lamp on beside them someone behind you so it might never be completely dark as you want it so that would always be a great addition but it's likely that they would provide that for you but you could she does confirm yeah um then a power bank like i could not emphasize this enough like your phone battery like no matter how good it is i know always make that joke of like you know samsung and iphone samsung battery um battery lasts but no matter how long it lasts if you're coming from nigeria to canada like without a power bank it probably would die and you cannot um necessarily rely on layovers so much because um you might lay over in a place where you don't you can't find like access to um a plug or you find out that the plug that you have um doesn't really work with the plug that you have there that's um the mouth at least um you could also bring a universal charger then that way you just have your charger and the plug but in this in a situation where you don't find somewhere to plug it that's where like having a power bank would come in useful i would recommend a power bank as opposed to just a universal charger but a universal charger is needed when you eventually come to canada just for your um just in your electronical items or electronics that don't have the same plug here that would still be useful like your hair dryer hair straightener and things like that um then the next thing is a notebook um or you could just like a paper and a pen why this is so important is because let's say if you're coming to meet someone here like maybe you're going to stay in their house for a few days or for a couple of months or whatever um you probably you have their phone number on your phone you probably have their address on your phone but what if something happens your phone dies you lose your phone but if you have that piece of paper you have that piece of notebook or something where you've written their phone number you've written um their address when you get here you're not stranded imagine coming to a new country and then you're stranded just as you've gotten here because the person you're supposed to meet you don't have their phone number uh, you you don't you don't have their address like that would just be a really unfortunate situation so to avoid some Something like that it's just very important to just kind of like write it down on a sheet of paper or carry a booklet with you but i would suggest maybe just a little notebook it could be your journal or whatever just a little notebook it's because when you're about to land as well especially when you're landing um let's say it's your first landing at least for me as an um as a permanent resident you know there were things that i was given a form to fill and things like that before you actually land while on the plane there were little notes just based off of the things they were announcing that i was writing down not even on my phone i wrote it down on a sheet of paper that i kind of held with me and i was reading through like things that they were talking about you know what customs would um ask you to declare and just things like that those type of details so i think it's really important to just have like a little notebook with you um 
then a book if you're the reading kind i think it's a good way to pass time especially with the ambience of on a plane the chances that a book will help you sleep so if you um you struggle with in insomnia like that can be a good way to just like put yourself to sleep basically um then your documents like this goes without saying all your documents you need to show at customs in fact all relevant documents to your um degrees you don't need to show that at customs but it's just better like what if they lose your luggage or something like that that's just such a painful experience so like as in have all your um degrees your birth certificates your police report all of those things like have them with you like on your person um then your laptop you might not necessarily want to use your laptop i didn't and i put it in my like um, my luggage that was like on the plane and which was a very bad idea because it ended up getting broken so i would suggest you have that on you like when, regardless of whether you're going to use it or not just like for safekeeping um um ear ear plugs like um earpiece or um what's the word earpiece yes just in case like you need um you want to listen to music i mean when the plane takes off there's a time you can use your phone the movies there are just there's it's just something to watch the movies and plays it's not great so you might have your own movies you might even have me on um, movies on your phone or whatever you might another thing is that you could save like netflix the netflix app on your phone you could download movies there and you, then you don't have to use like internet connection or whatever you can just watch it like that so i think that's a um great way to do it just to while away time if the movies that are available there are just of no interest to you um then snacks airport food is food it's good it's not great someone like me i have um i'm a very picky eater because i have a very sensitive stomach so bringing snacks or food i can eat like i don't i'm like jello fries or anything like that but like bringing food i can eat is very helpful to me just in case what they're offering me is not something i can actually eat um so that would it would serve you well if you know that you know you're very selective with food and just bringing something i can actually eat especially since it's a long journey and yeah um the another thing would be pay river i had my mother hammered it in my head like take panadol no take panadol so i had like racks she bought like that big pack that has i think 10 or is it 12 inside so i just took one with me inside my bag and then i the rest of it was inside my main um luggage so i think it's very important the worst thing you want to happen to you is that you have a headache on a plane that you can't get rid of that is just so painful so painful because you can't really go anywhere and then you're just stuck in that little cabin and then your head is just throbbing so it really serves you well to bring a pain reliever of course any other medication that you take on a daily basis make sure it's on your person um then toothbrush toothpaste i think toothbrush and toothpaste is like is excessive i think gum should do like i it took me about 36 hours to get into canada and so you don't want to turn to the person beside you and talk and then your mouth is just oozy and the person just kind of like hmm and the person does not really want to reply so i think it like gum would do like just have gum on you to kind of refresh your breath since it's a long um journey the chances that your breath would get still like it's just a given um then with that it's also facial wipes the journey is a long journey and you don't have your bath within that period so it can easily start to feel like maybe you're stinking or you're just not feeling the freshest so you can just take a wipe a facial wipe you can wipe it across your face across your armpits and things like that you can also bring change of underwear i know girls would probably want to do this i would ad strongly advise it as well um then you could also carry perfume to just i always have perfume on me i think most girls do but you could just always carry perfumes kind of just refresh your scent as time goes on um then tissues hand sanitizer that just depends on how like germophobic you are or germaphobe yeah germophobic you are so you might want to carry hand sanitizer if you're very messy you might want a tissue or maybe for some reason maybe you have a cold as just um, began your journey or sometimes it gets very cold that even if you don't have a cold before you enter the plane like you can start sniffing after because the temperature is just so cold um the compression socks compression socks like sitting for a long time is not very good on your body so compression socks kind of helps to it kind of helps to reduce the swelling um, and then it helps to maintain the blood flow as well like within your body just from sitting like I don't know if this happens to you you sit for such a long time and then you I'm kind of raising my leg <laughs> and then your leg kind of like swells it happens as well on a plane so compression socks really helps with that I don't think I think if you go to any pharmacy 
I think H Medics used to have compression socks. I'm not sure if they still have it, but I'm sure it's not something that is difficult to find. It's everywhere. Um, then change of clothes. I don't really think change of clothes is compulsory. It's not maybe except if you're traveling with children, then maybe that would be necessary. But if you're traveling alone, I don't really think you need to have change of clothes. Change of underwear is what I do recommend though. I think change of clothes would just be optional. Um, then a sleeping pill. I did get sleeping pills, but this is totally up to your discretion. Please speak to your doctor. I did, and um, this thing, um, I have motion sickness, so they prescribed um sleeping pills for me so that I can like withstand. Prior to that, I have traveled out before, but not a journey of like 36 hours, even though it was still broken down, like it, it still it was still a lot for me to handle, so I kind of needed and I don't you know I struggle with sleep, so I can't fall asleep naturally on my own that easily. So I needed extra help. Um then a travel pillow, you know, all those neck pillows people use. I didn't get one. I don't think it's a big necessity. I think if you want to splurge and you really want to be comfortable on your flight or you really just enjoy flying and you just want to live your best life on the plane, it can be really comfortable. My mother has one that she usually used to travel. And then me, when I'm just sitting there in the living room in our house, I'll just put it on my neck and I find it really comfortable. But when I'm flying, I don't typically use it. Um, but I know people like it. It makes um, the um, neck situation on planes is not the most comfortable if i'm honest so if you have that i mean that is good but i'll suggest you buy it before going to the airport airport um prices are just like ridiculous um so yeah it doesn't serve you to get it at the airport and i think that's everything if i've missed anything let me know if there are any things that anything that you think is important that maybe you typically carry when you travel leave it down in the comment section to help um someone else and yeah thank you so much for watching help yourself to other videos leave me a big like b why did i say big a big like if you've enjoyed um this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i am so thankful to all of you that leave a comment send me the sweetest messages on instagram honestly like sometimes i do this i'm like do people actually really watch this because i don't know if people watch it unless like people leave a comment i mean i do see the views but i'm like is it actually helping anyone like do i like all these things just keep so it's really heartwarming when i see like a message and like oh this helps me this helps me that i kind of know this is what they like this is the direction i could go to and things like that so that really that's feedback is really helpful for me which is why i welcome any feedback you have like positive or negative like it's all welcome just respectfully i have feelings but okay yeah so that brings me to the end of my video thank you for, so much for watching guys bye